In other news, Brazilian winger Rodrigo Goes might not be in full fitness by the time Real Madrid welcomes AC Milan on Tuesday in Madrid. According to the source, the ideal date for the player's return is scheduled for next weekend against Osasuna, and it will only take a miracle for him to feature on Tuesday night. We will discuss you detaily on that in this episode as we progress, and shortly after that, we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda, as Real Madrid are still considered big favorites to sign Vincent Kompany's star from Bayern this summer, who will be on a free transfer. The club sees the player as the perfect upgrade to the squad and will help solve their defensive and attacking problems. We will discuss you throughout that detail on this episode as we progress, so please stay tuned right up to the end, do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you don't miss out on our daily Real Madrid updates. Rodrigo may not be on the same level as Vinicius Jr. or Kylian Mbappe in terms of goals and assists, but his importance in the Real Madrid squad cannot be underestimated. The Brazilian winger was asked to adapt from day one when he joined the club, but he struggled to do so from a tactical standpoint, regularly changing the position he played on the field. However, he always had a good attitude when it mattered most. In fact, the management believes it is no coincidence that he was injured and missed both of the team's losses this season against Barcelona and Lille. As revealed by Jorge Picon, Rodrigo is nearing a full recovery from a hamstring injury sustained against Borussia Dortmund and is likely to return in time for Real Madrid's next league game against Osasuna. What's interesting is that even though he dreams of returning in time to face AC Milan and is working hard to achieve that, it's highly unlikely that he will face the Italian team. Rodrigo was widely rumored to be moving on from the club as the arrival of Kylian Mbappe seemed to be the final nail in his coffin. However, the young player made the most of his opportunities under manager Carlo Ancelotti, scoring three goals and providing one assist in La Liga. Another reason why the management considers his return important is tactical. Rodrigo is the only member of Real Madrid's trident who contributes to the defense and team pressure without the ball. His presence on the field therefore brings stability, especially as both Vinicius and Mbappe have failed to contribute in this regard. So having discussed and concluded with that, we will now quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of this episode, as Real Madrid are still regarded as the favorites to sign Alfonso Davies. Real Madrid's defensive instability was highlighted in the recent Clasico against Barcelona, where the men in white conceded not one but four goals. The fullbacks in particular were unable to withstand the onslaught of Barcelona wingers such as La Yamal and Rafinha. The dismal performance against Barcelona was enough to show that Real Madrid is in urgent need of reinforcements defensively. While Real Madrid has effectively ruled out signing any new players in January, the club remains committed to signing new players in the summer. With that in mind, a recent report from SportBuild suggests that Real Madrid is close to signing one of their top defensive target, Alfonso Davies. According to the source, Davies is getting closer to leaving Bayern Munich with every passing day and is one step away from making a decision. Real Madrid has been in contact with Davies' agent in the past, but Los Blancos appear to have stepped up their efforts in recent weeks. Meanwhile, Bayern's efforts to extend Davies' contract are virtually doomed to fail, making it highly unlikely that he will stay at Bayern. Real Madrid were not the only club interested in Davies. Manchester United, for example, were willing to meet the Canadian salary demands, but the player himself was not convinced by their plans. Barcelona have also expressed an interest in Davies. The Catalans are not out of the running yet, but for now Real Madrid remain the favorites. With the strengthened relationship, the Spanish giants are confident they can complete a deal sooner rather than later. So having talked and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this episode, thanks for following us right up to the end, do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel,
turn on your notification bells so you don't miss out on our daily Real Madrid updates.